I just got done making this really neat jig that you can use at your bandsaw, which will allow you to make exact copies of pretty much anything. Come on, really? Exact copies of anything? Okay, well, maybe not exact copies of everything, but uh, exact copies of your workpiece, if you have a template, for example. The jig works by riding along our template, which is supported by our tapering jig. Because I used 3 quarter inch ply for the body of the tapering jig, and for the template jig, I had to increase the width of the template jig by about a quarter of an inch. This way the template jig will be tall enough to make contact with the template. For the body of the jig, I'm going to use a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood. I'm also going to rip a small piece of quarter inch MDF to the same width. So I cut both the plywood and the MDF to rough length. Now I just need to glue the two pieces together. With the sandwich out of the clamps, I'm going to trim one end of the miter saw so that I know I have a nice flat edge on one end. Next we need to make a recess in our freshly cut end for our bandsaw blade. We want our recess to be slightly deeper than the thickness of our bandsaw blade. This is to account for any set there might be in the teeth. I plan on nibbling away that recess by using my table saw with my table saw sled. In order to help this jig track the templates a little easier, I'm going to go ahead and round over these corners. In order to make this jig adjustable, we need to create a slot. And we'll do that at the router table in two passes, and on the second pass, we'll raise the height of the router bit. I took a small piece of wood, which is the width of my miter track and my bandsaw, and I drilled a hole in it and countersunk. Now we can attach this to the main jig body. So with the jig and the miter track, all I need to do is slide the jig into the bandsaw blade so that it barely makes contact with the side of the bandsaw blade, and then tighten down this bolt. In order to prevent the jig from moving forward and back, I'm going to secure it with a couple magnetic feather boards. I'm going to use my new bandsaw template jig in conjunction with my table saw tapering jig that I made last time. This little scrap block of wood will help me to consistently place both the workpiece and the template in the same spot each time. With my curved template on the tapering jig and up against the stop lock, I can slide the fence of the tapering jig forward until the edge of the template extends over the edge of the tapering jig, and then lock down the two knobs. Now I can put the workpiece on top of the template and up against the stop lock and lock down the two toggle clamps. Because our template rides along the bandsaw template jig, which has the bandsaw blade embedded within the notch that we created, the blade ends up cutting the workpiece only. So if we had a bunch of these we needed to cut, all we would need to do is remove the one we just cut, insert a new blank, and be sure that both the workpiece and the template are up against our stop lock, and then clamp it down and repeat the same process. So what we end up with is both a workpiece and a template that are both identical.